Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have an interesting functional equations where we're going to find the general domain and range. After that, we find the explicit uh, value of f of x. So we are asked to find f of x and uh, the general domain and the range. f of 1 divided by x squared minus 9 equals x plus 8. So to solve this, let's consider the solution from here. We are given f of 1 over x squared minus 9. Suppose I let u equals 1 divided by x squared minus 9. So for that one, it becomes f of u equals x plus 8. And I want to define the domain first. To obtain the domain of this, we have 1 divided by x squared minus 9. Suppose I set x squared minus 9 to be t. Then, from here, t equals x squared minus 9. For every x, x squared greater than or equals 0. So this shows that t as well is also greater than or equals minus 9. So if the co this condition is satisfied, t will always greater than or equals minus 9. Then, when we come back to where we let u, that becomes u will be equals 1 divided by t. So, and if u equals 1 divided by t, let's not divide the domain of this very well. If it equals 1 divided by t, it means all possible values of t, the first condition here is all possible values, values of t, it will be greater than 0. And it means t is 0 is not there, but all possible values satisfy this. And also, we have all negative value of t less than 0. So they also satisfy this. So since we are able to divide this one, then let's define the range. We have defined the domain of u and how can we know the range of these equations so to know the range of this u we are going to the range of u suppose we have if t greater than zero what happens to u where we let u equals one divided by t u will also greater than zero and this is for all positive values either the small or the big number. As far as it is positive, using u equals 1 divided by one divided by t. So as u is increasing, not equals to 0, then we are going to have u also greater than 0. And if t here is less than 0, then u is also less than 0. So this is for all positive and why this is for all negative so since we are able to divide this one very well for the range for the range then we are going to conclude that the u is a member of knowing this one we have minus invalidity then we have zero union zero comma positive infinity that is, negative infinity is not part of the range, 0 is not part of the range, and uh, 0 here also is not part of the range, then positive infinity is not part of the range, while any other values, they satisfy this. So this is how to divide the range of this. Of this. Then we now come back to the real function, that is the range of f is still the same thing as what we have here. Then, Let's find the 
explicit function of f of x from where we have f of 1 divided by x squared minus 9 equals x plus 8. Before solving for f of x, we have to understand something here as well that suppose we have x squared minus 9. This is not equals 0. So the domain here must not be equals to 0 as when we have something here, we are going to have x squared is not equals 9. If x squared is not equals 9, then we are going to take the square root of both sides, so which shows that our x must not equals plus or minus 3. So if you have positive 3, we plug it in that function, that is undefined. And if you have negative 3, plug in that function, that is also undefined. So we have to know this condition before we start solving that. So since we have known this, then let's solve. To solve, as we have let u equals 1 divided by x squared minus 9. Then we are going to have f of u equals x plus 8. But we have to make this one in form of, in terms of u as well. When we come down here, we have to cross multiply. When we cross multiply, the result gives us x squared minus 9 equals 1 divided by u. So if this is what we have, let's take 9 to other side. Or let's say we add 9 to both sides. Add 9 to both sides, we have x squared equals 9 plus 1 divided by u. And we take the square root of both sides. Taking the square root of both sides, we have x equals plus or minus the square root of 9 plus 1 divided by u. So let's substitute back into f of u. So we have f of u equals x is now plus or minus, or you can say 8 plus or minus the square root of 9 plus 1 divided by u. By interchanging u with x, since we have to find f of x, we just therefore says f of x equals 8 plus or minus the square root of 9 plus 1 divided by x. But what is really happening here? To know these functions, the domain of these functions, we are not after range now. The domain of this function is similar to the range uh, we obtained earlier. That is, x here must be a member of negative infinity comma zero, then union zero comma positive infinity. This is the domain of the new function that we got. This is how to solve this problem. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.